Hi designers, this is lesson three in our technical drawing series. And it's not really technical drawing, it's more artistic, but it will add a lot of life and vibrancy to your drawings if you know how to do some shading. It really makes your images pop off the page and really makes them look three-dimensional. I'm sure you've done some of this in art class, but it's nice to see how you can take what you learned there and apply it here to our design. All you need is a big piece of blank white paper, pencil, and a ruler. I'd like you to start fresh. Please don't use the 3D box you already drew. Uh, make a new one. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Before we get to the shading, I'm gonna draw a new 3D cube. I want you guys to draw a new cube too. It's good practice. So there's my 3D box, and I'm going to do shading now. Right now it looks very flat. So what I'm going to do is first, <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is I'm going to decide where my light is coming from, the light source. So what I like to do is I like to draw a little sun up here. There's my sunshine, little Miss Sunshine right up there. And now I know that all the sunlight is gonna be coming from here. Now you can put your sun over here if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, but the important thing to remember is the light is starting here and moving in this direction. So that'll help you figure things out, like what's gonna be the brightest thing? Well, the roof is gonna be the brightest because that's getting the direct sunlight. And this side over here is gonna be in the shade because it's not getting any sun. And then this one, this side over here might get a little sun. So that's gonna be kind of the gray. And then where's the shadow gonna fall? The shadow's gonna fall over here in this direction. So what I'm gonna start with right now is uh, I'm gonna leave this area without any shading at all. I'm gonna put a lot of shade here and about half shade here and I'm just going to use the side of my pencil and uh, just kind of shade it in. So that's that side. Let's get this one. Now the block definitely looks like it has some dimension. It looks like uh, it's really popping off the page. The last thing I'm going to do is add some shadow. Now, like I said, this, the light is coming from the sun in this direction, so the shadow is going to be over here. I use the side of the pencil again, but then I'm going to use my finger to smudge it around a bit. First thing I have to do is decide where the shadow is going to be. Smudging it definitely makes it look like a nice soft shadow. Here's my little closed box. I think I'll try one more thing just to show you an example. Right now I'm going to add the line and make it look like an open box and then I'm going to shade on the inside a little bit too. So now it definitely looks like an open box. 
Although this should probably match this, so I need to add a little shading over here. All right, designers, I want you to please try this. And remember, if, if you need to do this a couple of times to master the art of shading, please do. Remember, nothing comes easy. You have to practice. Okay, good luck.